their tiny heads filled with ideas of how the planes should be, yet can never be, or the planes they would be no longer. Such foolishness. Ah, see, that's poignant. Okay. How the planes should be, yet can never be, or the planes they would be no longer. That actually is important, because if you look at the wheel of the planes, which I do not have handy on me at the moment, I could probably go get my player's handbook, hold it up to the camera. Um, but if you look at the wheel of the planes, they are on a dual axis, the same way the alignment is. Um, so like Modrons come from uh, Mechanus, which is the plane of pure order. So um, you've got, in the middle, you've got the prime material plane, where pretty much everybody is. Then you've got the two kind of um, mirror planes, uh, the Feywild and Shadowfell, uh, which are kind of like m uh, mirror planes to the prime material plane, to the point where there are places where it crosses over. Surrounding that, you have the elemental planes. It's like the inner planes. And the inner planes are all four elements. Surrounding that, you have the outer planes. And the outer planes are where you get the... Uh, those are the ones along the axes. Yeah, we're going deep into realm lore. It's what I do. Um, I can't, like, go exactly around the wheel of the outer planes and tell you, like... Um, which one? So basically, at the very top, you've got, uh, so, and they're called the, so they're the positive planes and the negative planes. So the positive planes, uh, like Mount Celestia, I believe, is the one at the very, very top, which is pure, uh, so, okay, let's see. Yeah, you've got good, so if you're on the cardinal compass, you've got um, north would be pure good, south would be pure evil. Um, let's see, I'm trying to do this in reverse. Your, <laughs> yeah. West for you, east for me, I believe is law. East for me, west for you. No, west for me, east for you is chaos. Um, or order chaos. So uh, at what would be the cardinal point west, I believe, is mechanus for order. So, but then as you go around like the southwest and the different cardinal points, you then get the other planes, like lawful evil. So, Beator, uh, which is the other word for the nine hells, that's lawful evil. Um, that's where you get the Beatazu. All of the infernal fiends are lawful evil. They believe in an order and dominion to their evil natures. Then, in the chaotic, kind of the southeast, I guess, area, um, you have the abyss, and that's where the demons, the Tanari, come from. Uh, and they basically believe in destruction, pure destruction. Hey, we can destroy it, let's go destroy it. The blood war is currently going on because um, Asmodeus, for both his own reasons and ostensibly to keep the demons out of the prime material plane, he's got his own reasons too because he is in fact Beatazu, the king of them, um, the blood war has been going on since time immemorial and it is fought on the gray waste which in this it's, uh, in a, as of AD and D it's fought in the gray waste which is i believe one of the in between planes one of the evil planes and then sigil is somewhere in the outer planes is the city of doors it's kind of like a planescape between them anyway what do you mean not the freaking blood war i love the blood war lore come at me so, back to Ravel Puzzle Wells thing. Filled with ideas of how the planes should be, yet can never be, or the planes they would be no longer. The whole point of the outer planes, if you consider the, the good, evil, order, chaos axes, is that each plane represents a point on that alignment scale. To the point where... They mention this in Dark Dreams of Furii, and there's actually, uh, which, you know, for all its flaws, it had planar lore. And there's actually a point here where um, it's referenced. Cities within the outer planes, if the, if the general belief of a population um, sways in any uh, direction one way, like too chaotic, too lawful, too wherever, 
that entire city will get dragged to the proper plane. That was the whole premise in Dark Dreams of Furii, is that Furii was on the outland still, because the population hadn't been swayed enough to drag it down into Avernus. That was the only decent part of that plot, but all that aside. So Ravel Puzzlewell, saying that filled with ideas of how the planes should be yet can never be, Yes, because they're arguing the planes should be this, the planes should be that. Well, no, they can't be, because if they were anything else, they would not be the planes. The whole point of the specific planes is that they represent a specific point on the alignment. I didn't even know I could get onto that soapbox until it was put right in front of me. I'm not, but I had fun up there. What force or entity makes those determinations? That is a phenomenal question. According to Dark Dreams of Fury Eye, uh, the Neverwinter Nights module, take this with a grain of salt, they had it as the general overarching belief of the populace. Uh, and actually belief is another key point that comes into the Planescape lore. Beca and, I, and that is actually, and they, they talk about it in Planescape Torment as well, belief is a powerful thing on the planes. The more the more you believe... I'm a paid chatter, that was a setup. I like you, you can stay. Um, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> paid chatter, that's a good job. Um, even if you're kidding, that's a good job. But yeah, the more people believe, and we've seen ourselves in real life, both fortunately and unfortunately, how belief in large numbers can be both very good and very bad. So uh, it only makes sense that the general populace of any city on a plane would, you know, put it in one place or another. I think the only exception is Sigil, which is the city of doors that lead to literally every other part of the plane. And it's so varied with constant planar travelers that, I mean, they even call the main part of the city the hive. It's basically, um, they call it the City of Doors. Um, I'm trying to think of a good real-life equivalent. O'Hare Airport. You, you don't actually stay in it for longer than several hours. And if you do, it's on a layover. And there's people from all... Like, any big international airport where you've got people coming and going and from all different places and all different beliefs, that's how you get places that are, like, on the outlands say. I believe Sigil is Outlands, but like Central Outlands. Anyway. That was a fun soapbox. I'll have to get on it again sometime. Yeah, fuck O'Hare, absolutely. Yes, would make a good setting for a story or campaign. Funny thing about that, because un before I got in this maze, I was in Sigil. I, I love... I, a friend of mine owns all the Planescape books. I literally need to, like, sit down at his house and just be like, I'm going to be in the corner over here with your entire Planescape library with Sigil and the Outer Plains, and I'm just going to read and take notes. And the best lore, like, the Planescape lore is... <laughs> That's the other thing you missed. I literally got on... I didn't even know I could get on that soapbox about planar lore until the soapbox was presented in front of me. And I'm like, all right, buckle in, folks. We're going to spend 10 minutes talking about the planes. <sighs> uh, good shit. Ah, here we go. Cursed. This is a border town. On one side are the Outlands. On the other is the plain of Carceri. So long as the status quo in Cursed remains balanced, this will continue to be a border town. So this is what we, we're, this is what the whole thing talking about before about the belief of the populace and the balance of things determining where the city is. If things get out of hand in the city, it could slide into Carceri and become one with the plain, impose too much order, and it ceases to be a border town by sliding into the outlands. All right, Hades is pure, straight down neutral evil. Here is this lovely planar chart that I should have brought out the first time. Hey, you're just in time for more planar lore, the soapbox that I got on earlier. So, before, in my planar soapbox, I swear this is going to be a highlight on its own, the planar soapbox. 
I was talking about the different orientation of the planes in regards to good, evil. Oh, look, it says planes of law, planes of chaos. So we have a city in the Outlands. So it's kind of in the in between places. So Carceri is one direct from Hades. Carceri is south southeast. So that makes it uh, neutral evil with chaotic leanings. Because limbo is pure straight chaotic neutral. Pandemonium is Okay, yeah. So Carceri... Ah, okay. So Carceri is right between Hades, which is neutral evil, and the Abyss, which is chaotic evil. So it is between the two. Neutral evil with chaotic tendencies, or chaotic evil with neutral tendencies. Anyway, so Cursed is currently in between the two. So earlier we talked about uh, Mechanist, which is pure uh, lawful neutral. There's mentions of Mount Celestia, which appears, which is neutral good? No, lawful good. Lawful good. Yes, because it leans more towards the planes of law. And then Elysium would be neutral good, the same way Hades is neutral evil. Yep, because the Nine Hells is lawful evil. And then we have Acheron. Cool. So that's the planes. Uh, they are on the two axes of alignment. Yes, spelled exactly like Acheron. Anyway, so yes, this is the page that I should have brought out. Um earlier when I got on my soapbox rant, soapbox rant. So now that I have a visual, you can see that you've got the positive negative, um, which is the good evil axis and the law chaos axis. There was discussion of people wanting to change the nature of the planes. And this is why the nature of the planes cannot in and of themselves be changed because otherwise they would not be the planes because each of the outer planes represents a position on the axis of alignment. So the blood war for ex is the boat. So the nine hells, Beator, firmly in lawful evil, the abyss, uh, where the Tanari are, firmly chaotic evil, which is why we have the blood war in the first place. Part of why we have the blood war in the first place. So. Anyway. So basically if it's to impose too much order and it ceases to be a border town and slides into the outlands, things get out of hand in the city, it could slide into Carceri. So yes, the belief of the general populace, because of the nature of the planes being on the axes of the alignments, the general belief of the populace can shift it around to the different planes based on those alignments. The exception, I believe, of course, being Sigil. You know, this could be knowledge and brain space that I reserve for useful things. Actual real-world history. But... Nah. 